Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. How are we all doing? I thought I'd come on and just have a little bit of a catch up really because I don't feel like I've had a, a good chat with you for a while. Um, and I have been doing loads of stuff in the background, but they've kind of all been stuff that I can't really talk to you about. <laughs> now that sounds mysterious, doesn't it? It's not. It's just things I've been doing in collaboration with people or stuff that I've been doing for the Northern Soul Sisters, blah, 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 blah. So I thought I would just pop a few things down on paper that I want to chat to you about. I've got my cup of tea. I've got my most expensive kits and mug in the world that says we love you, mummy. So I'll be slipping this as I go along because when I start your yabbering, you know, sometimes I get a bit of a dry throat. <laughs> so how are we all doing? I have spent the last weekend and the last few days wishing it was last Friday again. There's Tigger, by the way. He's going to really annoy me. I want to get out now. He spent the whole time trying to get in, but now he wants to get out. Um, wishing that it was last Friday again. And the reason for that is because I spent the whole day in Leeds with the gorgeous Rachel from Stitched Up and at Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne. And um, we just had the best day. Now, obviously, you guys have already been following me for a while. We'll know that we're part of the Northern Soul Sisters. If you're not aware of that, please do go and check out our channel. I will pop the information in the description box below. But whenever we meet up and we try to re meet up once a month at least, we tend to do a lot of Northern Soul Sisters things. So we'll record things, we'll make things, we'll plan, etc. We'll video a lot of stuff. And this time we decided to just have the day, just the three of us, because obviously we've got really good friendship and sometimes we get bogged down with the other stuff that we want to do together so we said this time no we're going to reminisce a bit like the first time we met which was in Leeds and we're going to go and we're going to have lo lovely food lovely drinks lovely shopping and lovely company and that is what we did so we spent the whole day in Leeds literally from just after nine o'clock until nearly nine at night and it went like that now when the girls told me their train times i was thinking god that's like nearly 12 hours in leeds what are we going to do with ourselves well we ended up having to actually push our dinner reservation back because we were that busy <laughs> having a good time so we had the most amazing time poor tamlin um her train was just a complete nightmare for her to be getting home on but um she didn't get home till about midnight bless her so that wasn't great but other than that we just had a wonderful time enjoying each other's company and it was just brilliant but what I thought I'd show you is obviously we did do a little bit of shopping while we were there. Obviously, it'd be rude not to. And we tend to go to B&M Fabrics in Leeds whenever we go there. And they don't have an online shop or anything like that. Um, but they do awesome fabrics. They do have um, a little stall on the market, but they also have a shop that's on the edge of the marketplace, um, which is where we tend to go. And it was great. So shall I tell you what I bought? I was very good, actually. I wasn't too bad. I did quite well, if I'm honest. I only bought two fabrics. I know. That's quite good for me, isn't it? I bought this one here, which is, <clears throat> I think, like a linen cotton shirting type. It feels very linen-y, but I don't know if it actually is. But this, ooh, let me get it out here. So it's like a, it's like, it probably is not coming out very well on here. It looks quite blue, but it's a bit of a greeny colour, this one. And it's got these really fine white lines in it. Now, I've been talking for ages. I'm even boring myself about the Olya shirt from Paper Theory. I've got the pattern. I've got the pattern pieces cut out. I just need to make one. But I thought this might be quite nice to make it in because it's got a really lovely feel to it. It's got quite a bit of drape still. I think it's definitely got a bit of linen in it because it does crease look. Um, but because it's got the stripes in it, I thought that would be nice for playing around with the different directions on the Ollie shirt. So I bought some of that. I just need to wash all this now. And the other, I only bought one other fabric, Miracle. And this was a bit of a last minute thing. And I mean, I love it, but I was a bit like, what, what, what were you on about at the time? But I mean, I love it. But yeah, I bought this. <laughs> Weird. This camo fabric. So it's kind of... I don't think it's denim. It's like a canvassy, cottony. It's not very, very heavy weight, put it that way. But it's still got structure to it, can you see? But in this kind of different blue shades, camo. I love it. I just absolutely love it. And straight away, I said to Rachel, I think I'm going to make a denim jacket. 
And then I thought, am I just going to make outrageous jackets that don't go with anything? And then I thought, do you know what? I don't care if I do. But anyway, so I'm not sure, but I think this might become a denim coat. Or, you know, um, what's the one that Friday Pattern Company do? The oversized kind of shirt jacket that's unisex. Mm, anyway, something like that. Um, I don't know, but I just, I really liked it and it was a bit of a whim and I just bought it. <laughs> but it's really nice, isn't it? Only thing is then, I don't have plain things to go underneath it, so that's what I need to sort out, isn't it? But never going to happen really, is it? So they're the two fabrics I bought and then I bought some, oh, they have some really good trimmings and things like that. I bought some webbing, strap webbing, webbing thing, whatever you call it. And it's really nice. It's this black with kind of like almost neon orangey colours in it really nice and then I got some in the pink as well look how cute this is the reason I got this is because I might have shown you before the fabric that I bought in Germany with the sewing machines on I couldn't remember what colour it was and I want to make a bag out of that so I was thinking of something that would hopefully match that and I was thinking like a baby pink might might work so I need to have a look and then I also got some cords as well so i got the a pale blush pink because i thought well that'll go with pretty much anything and then i couldn't resist this one look at that and i thought that would go really nice with that so as i've told you about six thousand times before i'm making a bag for mum's birthday um to store her knitting projects in and i really want to make myself one with that fabric from germany that's got the sewing machines on it so i'm hoping those two are going to go with it i need to check that because I haven't actually checked that yet, so I do need to have a look. The only thing is I need to be careful someone's put sellotape around it, which is good, because can you see it starts unravelling? <laughs> so someone's put some sellotape around that to stop it happening, which is really good. So that's all I got. We also went to Samuel Taylor's, actually, in Leeds, which I've never been to before. They had quite a few fabrics that were the same as B&M's. Um, they had quite a big range of, of fabrics, actually. Um, but because I'd already bought a couple, I was kind of like, do you know what? I don't need any more. Unheard of, I know. But Rachel had already given me some fabric. So she's given me some of this fabric. Now, you've seen this before. When we went and met with Angela and um, Helen in Birmingham, we all made pyjama bottoms in this gorgeous, gorgeous, like brushed cotton from First of Fabrics. And I love mine so much. But Rachel had made a pair of shorts as well. And then I was jealous. <laughs> I wanted a pair of shorts. And she said, I've got some scraps. I'll bring them for you when we come to Leeds. And you should be able to get a pair of shorts out of it, no problem. So I've got a couple of pieces of different scraps so that I can try and get a pair of shorts, pyjamas out of that. So that was just free. Thank you, Rachel. And then the other things that I've got recently, I showed it on my Think Pink um subscription box unboxing but i don't i know a lot of you don't watch those ones so i thought i'd just show you it now and that is this cotton jersey I'm, you won't miss me in this will you i've got this beautiful cotton jersey with a navy background and these massive orange pink and red flowers all over it oh, poppies absolutely beautiful it smells nice because i've washed this one as well so i've got um two meters of that that i'm hopefully going to make the tabitha t-shirt dress in that is the plan at the moment, but things could change. And I also bought two other things from Minerva recently. And the reason I bought them is because I had vouchers. Um, now, one of them, they did tell me that they didn't have enough stock left of it. So they've said, do you want to just hang on until we've got it in September? And I said, yeah, that's fine. I'm not in a rush for it. And um, I'll show you that when it does come. But I bought a teal colour based fabric and that's because as you know I had my colours done and that was showing as one of my neutrals and it's very rare that I would wear teal so I wanted to try it out so I've ordered one of their exclusive um, visco chalets in the teal colour to try it out to see what I think when I've made it up and what it looks like with my skin tone and my hair but the one that they did have was this one uh, I had to have it <laughs> so this is a French terry a loop back French terry you see on the back here it's absolutely gorgeous in like this green color with like black and bright pink bright baby pink um animal print splodges all over it i got one point something meters of this and the reason for that is because i want to make the hazelwood top by tasuti again i made that beginning of the year after seeing it on vicky from minerva 
I think she made hers in this, actually. I might be completely wrong. But anyway, she made one and that's what made me want to make it. And I made it with some fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. But then I really fancied some of this. Now, I think that's what it's going to be. It might not. I might change my mind and make a hoodie because <laughs> I do love it. I might make a page hoodie. I don't know. I've already got one that's animal print there. Stop it, Ruan. But yeah, I think at the minute it's going to be a hazelwood top. So they're the fabrics that I've kind of got recently. So there's quite a few though, isn't there? So I have ordered one other from Rainbow Fabrics because I literally couldn't live without it. Um, so I'll show you that when it comes. But I think I'm just going to try hang a banger now. Do you know what I mean? And slow down. Because I am making quite a bit at the moment. And I'm using quite a bit from my stash and some of the new fabrics I've got. But I kind of just want to slow down now because I have got everything nicely organised here. So yeah. Speaking of organisation, I know loads of you, bless you, have been really, really patient with me. I know I did um, a designing of my new sewing room vlog and then I did a progress one and I've never done the reveal. And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is because I wasn't quite ready. Now, I wanted for my cutting table, which is just outside here, I wanted a bespoke cutting mat um, to go on top and it's quite expensive so I've been saving up for it and we were also having our ensuite done at the same time so we've been saving up for that so things had to take priority unfortunately but I'd saved up enough money and I have ordered it I didn't end up getting a bespoke one funnily enough because the bespoke cut ones that they did did not have grid lines on and I wanted one with grid lines on because I find when you're lining up your fabric it's great to be able to make sure that your selvages etc are really neat and I wanted that to be able to reference against whereas the plain green one although it would be cut bespoke to my table measurements it wouldn't have the grids on it which was really frustrating so I bought the largest grid one you can purchase <laughs> my husband's cut it down for me so with literally a pair of kitchen scissors bless him it took him some time but he did it so that has been done now so I'm just I mean on that table there it was completely clear the other day but I am going through all of my drawers all of these sections here and having a really good clear out of everything so that I will be ready hopefully to do a reveal within the next two weeks hopefully wish me luck so that's the plan so you will be getting a, <laughs> a vlog that shows the finished product basically but I'm glad in a way that I did hang on because I wanted to make sure I'd been using the space properly for a while first because sometimes you end up changing things up and things don't you but anywho mm. the next exciting thing is that I've got coming up is Scottish frock tails. So me and the girls are off up up north, like proper north. We're off to Bonnie Scotland and that is in September, so towards the end of September. If anybody fancies going, it's based in Glasgow and I think they've still got tickets on sale till the end of this month. Um, but yeah, we're going there. We're staying in a hotel close by. Um, there's a few others that we know that are making the trip up there and staying over as well, which is going to be really nice. Um, so we can all get together and we're going to go for a couple of nights so that we're not rushing. We're going to hopefully go up on the Friday and then we've got Friday evening and Friday daytime and then in the evening on the Saturday to get ready and go. So I'm really looking forward to that. But now I'm in planning stages of what to make. I think I had my plan like nailed down. But then I saw this fabric in Minerva and I thought, well, I'm placing an order with Minerva. I'll get a sample of it just to kind of see what it's like the quality of it etc and I've like totally fallen in love with it shall I show you it shall I shall I shall I oh how amazing is that so it's a black velvet with gold animal print all over it <laughs> it's outrageous but I really really love it I just love it so much so now I'm thinking, do I need to change my plans? I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because I, I still haven't decided and we might do a bit of a vlog for that maybe for Northern Soul Sisters. But this is their part of their core range and it's a stretch black velvet, if you can see. It doesn't stretch this way, but it does stretch that way. It hasn't got like a massive amount of stretch. It's just got a little bit, but these are just slightly raised. You can feel them, but they're just so shimmery. Now, the only thing with 
finding a pattern that would go with this is a lot of patterns are very figure hugging that are in velvet and I've got a big tummy at the moment and I really don't want that to be really prominent do you know what I mean so I've seen some really nice patterns that are lovely and tight I'd love like a one shoulder dress or something like that but then they're really skinning like tight over my tummy area and my butt and I just don't need that in my life right now so I don't know this is a potential but if you've got any ideas for awesome like evening wear that you think would be appropriate for this then I am all ears because I need to come up with something like I say I have got one plan but I might have to have a few <laughs> before I decide but that is coming up in September so yeah if you want a ticket make sure you book Scottish Frocktails I've got an Instagram page okay what else what have I been doing recently so um myself and the girls we all made an Avenir jumpsuit for our little meetup in um leaves which was great we all chose very different fabrics again i won't go into too much detail because we're going to do a proper review on that over on the northern soul sisters um channel but i wasn't bothered about making the avenir jumpsuit when the girls suggested it i was kind of like oh, i don't think it's really me and blah, 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 blah. but anyway i went with it anyway and i'm so glad i did because it is serious secret pajamas i know people have said that before but I enjoyed wearing that outfit basically so I think I'll be wearing that quite a bit so I've made that recently I've made something for a little collab that I'm doing with the gorgeous Emma from So Do It Emma and I'm looking over here because that's where they are you can't see them but recently as well I've made my daughter at uh, my friend's daughter a birthday present as well let me grab it and show you um this again was made with the fabric that I got from Germany when I went over there and I've made the rainbow dress how cute is that with a little matching scrunchie with the scraps? Because why not? But yeah, so I've made the Galena dress by Little Lizard King, which is a free pattern and it was dead easy to do. So it's got like a lovely, almost like skater style dress. So really nice wide skirt. And then it's got a nice neck band on. And I chose the small, uh, the short sleeves with the cuff in them. How cute is that? And then I put a little um, label on, which is a Paige Joanna one that I think might have come in like a So Hayley Jane box or something that says Summer Maid. How cute is that? I really enjoyed making something for a little girl as well. <laughs> and yeah, a little scrunchie to go with it. So I'm going to wrap that up and get that sent off to her um, very soon because it is her birthday only a few days after mine. Because just so you know, it's my birthday a week on Sunday on the 20th of August. Can't wait. Hmm. Well, I can wait because I'm getting older, so I can wait from that point of view, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so we're going away for a few days. I have got next week off work, and so is the husband, so we can spend some time with the boys. We are going to um the coast on Friday night, um, uh, up until about Wednesday, I think, and then we're coming home and having a few days at home. The weather for anybody who's not in the UK. Um, the weather over here is bonkers right now. I think that's the only word to um, describe it. Basically, we're in the middle of August. It should be beautiful. The sun should be cracking the flags and it's not. It's raining constantly and it's really bizarre. So we're probably going to go away and get rained on the whole time. But, you know, we won't be, we won't be at home. So, But... Because I'm going to be going away, um, I have said to my husband that I'd really like to take my sewing machine and my overlocker. And he's like, what? <laughs> OK. Where are we going to put all the other stuff? And I'm like, "Great, okay, we'll find a way. So um, I've got to pack up all of our stuff into like the smallest bags I can possibly get my hands on so that I can take all of my machines. <laughs> but I thought we're in a log, kind of a log cabin. And, you know, in an evening when the kids are doing whatever they're doing and the husband's doing whatever he's doing, I thought it'd be nice just to have a little bit of time to do a little bit of sewing. So I'm taking them with me. Mm. So any hints and tips for people that have taken their machine away with them, do let me know because I've not done it before. Obviously, I've done socials for the day and things like that, but I've never actually physically taken them away. So the rest of this week, I need to plan what I'm going to make, make sure I've got all my threads. I'm already panicking that, you know, I might have forgotten something. But anyway, so that is the plan so far. I may do a bit of vlogging while I'm there. Don't know. Might not. We'll see. So, yeah, I've got that as well. Um, the only other thing um, that I've got going on at the moment is a pattern test as well. So, again, something else I can't really talk to you about. Um, so I'm going to try and do that while I'm away, which I thought would be quite nice. 
So I have, I am doing quite a few bits in the background, but I'm not really showing you them just yet. So when they're all done and everything's dusted, I'll then do another makes video because I did, I do know that I did one not so long ago, which is pretty good for me. So I will then discuss everything that I've kind of made and what I've been up to because I'll be a bit more free to talk about it. It all seems very secretive, doesn't it? It's nothing that exciting. It's just one of them things, you know. But anyway. So yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. I know it was a bit of a weird video, but I just wanted to have a little catch up with you because I've not really spoken to you for a while. Well, it doesn't feel like I have anyway. Um, I think the next thing that I'll be getting through the door will be my So Hayley Jane subscription box. Exciting. I'm just hoping it doesn't come while I'm away. Oh, I'll do that really jealous thing where I look at my ring doorbell on my phone and there's someone there with a nice package and I can't get home to see it. <laughs> But anyway, so that'll be the next thing I think that comes from me. But yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. What are you guys sewing? Are you doing anything exciting? Are you doing any events? Um, I did see that everybody's been and done the Festival of Quilts um, and I've been incredibly jealous. Um, I kind of always thought that that wasn't for me, but then it looks like there's quite a lot of dressmaking things going on there nowadays. So maybe next year that'll be something for me to look at as well. I have booked tickets now for the Knitting and Stitting. Knitting and Stitting? Knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate. I'm going to that again. I go there every year with my mum. We are going actually on the Thursday because I'm away that weekend from the Friday. So we normally go on the Friday, but um, I've booked the day off on the Thursday as well. And we're going to go on the Thursday. So if you go in on the Thursday, come and say hello. Um, but yeah, on that, that's about it. So I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's had lots of time for sewing and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.